Hello, prayer family. Today is February 17th, 2024, and there's much to pray about. We need to pray for our brothers and sisters all over this world. I saw a report from a watchdog group, I'm reading it here, that estimated in 2023 that there were over 8,000 Christians killed in Nigeria. I saw another one. Christian schools in India give an ultimatum to remove religious symbols. So these are just a couple here. And then as far as here at home, we need to keep praying that all of our government agencies and their corruption would be exposed. We need to keep praying for the migrant crisis and the violence that's attached to it. We need to pray for our young people who are tricked into believing false things about themselves that ends up causing permanent harm to them and their loved ones. And let's not forget our involvement in foreign wars. This week there were some shootings. There was one in Kansas City where there was at least one dead and 20 injured last time I heard. And there's a little boy who's fighting for his life. We need to pray for him. And let's pray for the shooters that they would come to know Christ and repent and for the rest of their lives do good things for the kingdom. There was also a shooting at Joel Osteen's church, and the shooter brought their son or a small child, and he got shot. He's fighting for his life. Let's pray for him. Let's pray that somehow he can heal from this, both physically and spiritually. We don't talk too much about the Ohio train derailment that happened in East Palestine last year, but we need to remember those folks. They've had a lot of adverse health issues and from the chemical spills and the burn-offs, but a lot of people have also been displaced from their homes, so let's remember them. And finally, amongst our own prayer family, let's lift up Sister Betty Hensley today. Her relationship with her daughter needs serious healing and her house is in disrepair. Make sure to comment below your prayer request so we can all keep checking back throughout the day and through the upcoming week and continue to lift each other up in prayer. We've got to keep interceding for each other and for this world in the name of Jesus.